All right, guys, we're going to be reviewing the M5 stock today, which is this. Here's the M5 stock. It is a development board, and the version I specifically got is the Fire. All right, let's see what you get when you get the kit. The M5 stack, which consists of the main core, the battery base, and the magnetic charging base, the USB Type-C cord, a quick start guide, a few Lego pieces, there's actually two of these, and an Allen wrench. Alright, the reason it's called M5 stack is because it's 5 by 5 centimeters, and stack, it can stack multiple modules that are made for the M5 stack onto it to extend your projects. So I went ahead and bought a stack for it. It is the USB stack, which has a USB port and GPIO pins. So what you have to do is just stack it on like that with the GPIO pins in place. Like that and put the other ones on. Just like that. Alright, let's look deeper into this. Alright, so let's start with the core. And notice it has an LCD screen. Three buttons. A speaker, a SD card slot, a microphone, an ESP32 core, a Grove port, a USB Type-C port, a 3D, a 3D antenna, and then just the GPIO pins where you stack on. Also a power and restart button. Next up is the battery base, which has two Grove ports, two LED bars, obviously the battery, and the pins, GPIO pins, and Lego connectors and magnets. The charging base, which is just a magnetic charging base, so when you want to stick your M5 stack on, obviously this isn't the full M5 stack, but you just put, you just place it on right like that like that and it starts charging you just keep it in there which also has magnets and Lego Lego connectors all right so let's upload some code to this that you can use Arduino and there's a uh, block coding language that m5 stack has created for it too I went ahead and wrote this code on Arduino, which has just a green screen, and when you press this button, it makes a loud beeping noise. Just uploaded something else, so let's start it up. It says, it's not focusing, it says button status. And every time you press one, the status change to zero or one. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. I plan on making some tutorials of this M5 stack with Arduino. Because I haven't seen any Arduino of how to use Arduino ID with M5 stack so I decided I should make some so I'm going to make some in the near future with the ESP32 core and all the features it has you can do all kinds of stuff with this thing it is an amazing development board all right like subscribe see you guys